Okay, I'm going to talk today about engineered helicity of one-dimensional lanthanum illuminate strontium titanium nanowires. Um, and the goal um, for the work that I'm going to present to you today is to try and um, engineer quantum wires with certain Hamiltonian descriptions. Um, and so the system that we work with is the oxide heterostructure lanthanum illuminate strontium titanate, um, where when you grow a thin layer of lanthanum illuminate on strontium titanate, there's a high mobility two-dimensional electron liquid that forms at the interface between the two materials. Um, and so this interface is um, electronically tunable. It has a tunable metal to insulator transition with either um, the number of unit cells of lanthanum illuminate or um, a gate voltage at the critical thickness. It has um, electronically tunable spin orbit coupling, superconductivity, and even um, magnetism. Um, so this is really a system that um, exhibits nearly every major phenomena in the solid state um, and makes this a very interesting candidate for trying to engineer some quantum materials. Um, so just to note, since this is a 2D session, um, it appears that a lot of the physics at the interface really happens in one dimension. Um, so at low temperatures there are um, ferroelastic domain boundaries that appear and um, at these boundaries you have enhanced conductivity and superconductivity um, and even um, we've recently discovered um, the one-dimensional nature of superconductivity at the interface where um, wires of different thickness have the same um, critical current because um, all of the superconductivity is actually happening um, at the edge of the wire where you have a domain a YZ domain boundary. Um, and so um, because of this we're going to focus on one-dimensional systems and engineering um, some different quantum phases. Um, so this work is motivated by um, quantum emulation that's been done with cold atoms. So here you have um, a lattice created with standing waves of light and magnetic field where you can trap and control a large number of atoms at specific sites um, and you can use these to engineer um, different Hamiltonians and even um, engineer synthetic gauge fields, spin orbit interactions, and topological states of matter in these cold atomic gases. Um, so here you see these quantized vortices and rotating VCs um, showing the engineering of these synthetic gauge fields. Um, and so we want to do something similar and try and engineer quantum wires that have certain Hamiltonian descriptions. Um, so to do this we take control of, or we take advantage of the nanoscale patterning and control that we have over the LAOS2 interface um, using conductive atomic force microscope lithography. Um, so we have the interface which is right at the critical thickness so the interface is naturally insulating. Um, we can um, pattern the interface to make electrical contact and then introduce a conductive atomic force microscope tip and when we apply a positive voltage to the tip and move it on the surface of the material we can deposit protons which will locally attract electrons to the interface um, and using this technique we can create um, structures as small as two nanometers um, and by applying um, a negative voltage to the tip we can even um, locally erase and create tunnel barriers in these devices. Um, so using this technique we can create a variety of devices such as a single electron transistor um, where we can use gates to control the number of electrons on a quantum dot. Um, these devices have exhibited um, interesting quantum phases such as electron pairing without superconductivity indicating that we have strongly attractive electron-electron interactions. We can create um, electron waveguides where we see um, quantized ballistic transport and can control the number of um, transverse channels occupied in the devices. <coughs> and we also um, have the ability to tune um, the, the strength and sign of the electron-electron interactions in these devices. Um, so using a gate we can transition from attractive to repulsive interactions. Um, and there are many more examples of um, the really fine control that we have over the interface and all of its properties. Um, so again, we're going to take advantage of this nanoscale control we have um, over the interface. Um, and so 
um, there is a lot of control that we have um, in growing these materials. We can grow, you know, layer by layer, um, but we want to take it to the next step and really um, use this patterning to create um, sites for putting electrons that doesn't have to bear any resemblance to the underlying lattice of the system. Um, and maybe using this solid state atom as a building block, create any number of one dimensional or two dimensional um, materials and simulate a wide range of Hamiltonians, such as potentially this Hubbard model Hamiltonian. Um, so we're going to again start from this unperturbed interface, which is naturally superconducting, and then add some nanoscale patterning to perhaps um, transition into different um, quantum phases. And this is the idea that Feynman had. Um, in the 80s of um, quantum simulation. Um, so the work that we've been doing is focused in one dimension. We have um, this initial Hamiltonian, which is that of this straight wire with no modulation, and then we can perturb it in different ways, um, adding a lateral modulation, a vertical modulation, or doing those two things in quadrature. Um, so the lateral modulation is achieved by tracing a sinusoidal path with the atomic force microscope tip. Um, the vertical motion is achieved by moving in a straight line, but then modulating the amplitude of the tip. And then we can do those two things in quadrature, and we expect to produce helical electron motion and perhaps engineer um, an effective axial spin orbit coupling. Um, and so we do indeed see um, different effects in the transport from these different types of modulation. Um, so just to briefly go over what this straight electron waveguide looks like, um, we see um, ballistic transport in these devices. So it's a straight section of wire which is bracketed by these highly transparent potential barriers which allows us to um, tune the chemical potential of the device. And we see in the conductance we see highly quantized um, plateaus um, at integer values of E squared over H. Um, and if we look at the transconductance, the derivative of these curves, we see that it reveals this rich subband structure where we have um, vertical and lateral modes of confinement. Um, this is in very good overall agreement with um, a waveguide description. Um, okay, so now we're going to look at um, this helical uh, modulation where we've done the lateral and vertical modulation in quadrature. Um, and so this is motivated by work that's been done with chiral molecules um, where they see the chiral induced spin selectivity effect um, um, that enables room temperature electron spin filtering, enhanced electron transport, and even spin polarized transport. And so our question was, can we engineer something like this in um, LAOSTO? Um, so here's one of the devices. So this is a helical waveguide device. Um, and just for reference, there's a control waveguide with no modulation, um, which is what um, this is. So we see these subbands, um, and this is a pretty typical electron waveguide device. And then um, now this is the transport through the helical super lattice, and we see um, several features. We see these um, this interference pattern um, indicating these oscillations in the conductance um, and the other um, the other striking effect is that up to 18 tesla we see paired transport so this is a jump in 2 e squared over h whereas in the control device um, this splits to steps of 1 e squared over h at about 10 tesla um, so what we think might be going on in these devices is that this helical super lattice engineers an axial spin orbit coupling um, so that um, the combination of that with the applied external magnetic field creates um, an effective magnetic field in the super lattice, and when the electrons enter um, the super lattice, their spin begins to process around this new effective field. Um, and if it doesn't make a complete rotation, um, by the time it exits the super lattice, we'll see um, this suppression of the transport. Um, and so if we look at the line cuts um, of this transconductance, we actually do see um, a decrease in the transport, um, which is a function of both the magnetic field and the energy or the side gate value. Um, 
So this is potentially an interference pattern that we see due to this engineered axial spin orbit coupling. Um, and we have seen, these, seen this effect in several different helical superlattice devices. Um, so in summary, we've begun developing um, this solid state platform for one-dimensional quantum simulation and engineering quantum phases in one-dimensional nanowires um, by adding this helical modulation um, to a, to a one-dimensional wire. Um, and the future directions are trying to develop a theoretical modeling of the devices and then combining this um, engineered spin orbit interaction with um, the natural magnetism and pairing um, at the interface to create exotic quantum phases of matter. Thank you.